Agriculture is the most important economic activity in Africa. It provides employment for about two-thirds of the continent's working population. Kenya, Zimbabwe, South Africa, Uganda, Tanzania and Zambia are the major producers of flowers for the local and export markets. Alice is a lawyer by profession who is now a farmer and has a passion for flowers, which she turned into a business with her company AS Flora. Hi guys, welcome to Kenganda. My name is Joanita and you do know here at Kenganda, we bring you the best of the best. If you are a true subscriber or a new subscriber, you do know that we have episodes dedicated to agriculture because we want our viewers to get interested in agriculture because we know it's the next big thing and we want to bring you the next big thing that's happening around, okay? Now on today's episode, we are in Vumba at this lovely, huge farm. And um, recently was Valentine's and today's episode is going to be about flowers, okay? <laughs> we have the owner of the farm here with us today and do you mind introducing yourself to our viewers? Sure. Uh, my name is Alice Chekoti. Yes. Yes, I'm a farmer. I'm a flower farmer. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so um, how, when did you start doing this? Ah, last year. That is 2020. Yes. Yes, that's yes. when I started. Yeah. So the idea is just to supply. I noticed that there is a lot of... Uh, we have been getting a lot of uh, imports from Kenya, yeah, our neighbors. Yeah. Uh, Ugandans have not been really um, into flowers. Into flowers. So yeah. I thought uh, it would be a good thing yeah. to also, you know, start producing and growing flowers because yeah. I've been a florist actually for the last uh, 12 years. Oh, was it a passion of yours before? Absolutely. I've been a florist in Tanzania, Arusha. Oh. But my home is here in Uganda, so I've come yeah. here to. We should do call this. you the East African farmer. Absolutely. <laughs> That's a good one. It's African farmer. <laughs> okay. I think that suits me perfectly. Yeah. Okay, so how much capital did you um, use to start your flower farm? Oh, I don't know. I haven't really sat down to count it because I don't want to anyway. But uh, um, perhaps in the region of 200 million. Yeah. Yes. Just to start it out. To start, put the drips, to put, this is a, it is not a greenhouse as such. It's a shared, it's a shared room. Yeah. Yes. But I got my first greenhouse over yeah. there. Yes. And then uh, putting the drips and all that, fencing the place. So yeah. Yeah. That is how much I've put in so okay. far. Okay. Mm. Now, have you maybe out there thinking, flowers? Wow. Like flowers, that's it. What can you tell them about flowers? Like, what's that pulling thing that draws you to your flowers? What's that? She has a passion. To the I'll flowers. tell you a story. Tell me. I have loved flowers from when I was a baby. Really? At eight years old, I had a balcony full of flowers, plants. Wow. At eight years old, we used to live on a three, on a third floor yes. of a flat. Yeah. But I used to grow flowers at the age of eight. Yeah. So it's something that has been in me. So being a florist, it just came naturally. Yeah. So that's how I ended up, uh, you know, being a florist. And now I've discovered that I can also grow flowers. Okay. So I'm in it now. Yeah. <laughs> in it to make some money. Yes, and of get. course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, enjoy. What challenges have you faced with your flower farm? Weather. The no weather. It's quite Uganda hot. is really hot. It's so hot. if you don't have money for drip, ah, mm. this is depending on God, it's the rain. They can't <laughs> take you anyway. Yeah. And also a lot of pests because it's hot and yeah. humid. Yeah. So there's a lot of pests. And then it, everything is expensive. To get a, a, a greenhouse done like that one of mine, I had to pay 12 million. What? Yes, 8 by 30, I had to pay 12 million. Mm. And then there's the pesticide. There's yeah. the, I try very much not to use pesticides. I, yes. I have a chicken farm as well, so I bring oh. my manure from there. So I try not to use fertilizers, Okay. artificial fertilizers. Yeah. But it's quite um, expensive. It's a, an expensive venture, really. Yeah. If you don't have passion for it, you do it for money. <laughs> And you don't have enough money. Ah, uh, it won't be enough. Twelve months, yeah. you'd be, <laughs> you would have run away. <laughs> True. Uh, what are your future prospects for the farm, for the flower? Farm? I want more greenhouses, and yeah. I want to grow more varieties. For the for the for the for the meantime, I'm really growing for the local market. Yeah. Yes, because I'm a florist, so I apply. I have to supply other yeah. we, um, other florists yeah. as well. Valentine's yeah. was last week. Sorry yes. for disturbing. Valentine's <laughs> was last week. How was the market for the flowers? It was wonderful. It was a good Valentine's I cannot, for you. Uh, I cannot, it was really good. We were able to supply our shop and we were able to supply other florists as yeah. well out there. So it was really good, I yeah. can't complain. So Ugandan yeah. men are a bit romantic, let's say that. <laughs> yeah! Oh, actually most of our clients yeah. at Valentine's were, were men. Yes, yes. It's, it's, it's a holiday. And yes. what, what, what's your advice for any viewer who wants to start a flower farm? You must have passion. Yes. 
you must love what you're doing. In everything, you must love what you're doing because it's not a bed of roses. I'm not even there yet. I've not gotten what I, where I want to be, but I, I just started anyway yes. with the little that I had. Yeah. So I keep on, you know, improving here and there. As I told you, I recently put up a, a, greenhouse. a greenhouse and I'm clearing, clearing more space yeah. to put in more so that yeah. I can get more varieties. Yeah. But you really must know. And another thing is I did go to school to learn how to grow flowers. Mm. Yeah, I spent, I went to school, I spent about 2,500 for a course in growing flowers. Those are so, do that's dollars? These are dollars, exactly. Okay. Because I needed this. Knowledge. I needed the knowledge, yes. Because yes. reading the book, okay, watching whatever, it's, it's fine. It can, it can only take you to a certain extent. Yes. But if you really want a lot of uh, knowledge in something, you really have to spend yeah. more. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, to okay, gain the knowledge. You. Thank you so much. Alice, let's go look at some flowers. And <laughs> maybe there's a lucky man out there. I'm going to pick some flowers for him. Of course. He's just here right now. <laughs> let's look You're at the flowers. You're most welcome. Okay. Okay, let us go. Okay. Okay, because it was Valentine's Day last week, so yeah. the ones we had prepared for Valentine's are really done. Okay. But we have a bed here of sunflowers coming up. Ooh. Very nice and healthy yeah. bed of sunflowers. It's coming up. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. And then we have, this is celosias, they're coming up, they need a bit of weeding. Okay. So this week we shall be weeding. All right. This one we are cutting, but it's also about to finish. Yeah. And uh, this is, uh, it's called Queen Anne. Uh, chocolate less. Yes. It's still very young, but uh, it's something we shall be cutting in about a month's time. Yeah. It will be ready. Yeah. This one is called um, Statis. Actually, the drip has gone off. Oh. It's called Statis. Okay. By drip, she means drip of water, guys. Because anyone is, is not with us. This is another bed of um, Celosia. Ah, this thing. People are so excited Lucid. about this. Yes. Yeah. We had, that's what we were selling so much at Valentine's Day. Yeah. I want to show you if I can find one. Okay. Which was very popular. I would love to see it. <laughs> okay. And we have more beds which we yeah, they're growing. To plant today. Oh. Okay. okay. They were so good for filling up the bouquets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is it called? It's called the Queen Anne's Less. So the one which was popular, only that now it is growing a bit um, off. Yeah. Um, Oh, this one, and then the red version of it. Yeah, there's a red version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let me show you. The red version of it. Last week it was really a big seller for us. Oh my God, it's a like car rose. Can exactly. I can I buy them? <laughs> yes, that was a big seller. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is uh, what we are doing. Yeah. And then we have some uh, dwarf sunflowers over there. Okay. They didn't do very well. This one's were hit by the sun. Okay. But um, this one. They are really nice, but they didn't do very well. Yeah. But we can still cut for bouquets. Okay. Yeah. Oh, to, feel, to add color to them, yes, see? Yes, exactly, yeah. <laughs> okay. So these ones were affected by pests. We have this, um, these mites, which, are, which they have been affected, but they are also due. These are the ones that we told you. Sorry. Them. Okay. Yeah. They are so, also due to be ripped off. Yeah. Can so, we peep in the greenhouse? There's nothing actually. It's a new greenhouse. Oh, so we haven't we have started. planted anything. Yeah. So, yeah. So oh, you say you also want to plant something yeah, near the side? Yeah, we are this part for more irrigation. All this part. Then we are going to have another greenhouse there, that side. Wow, yeah. I can't wait to see yeah, all I this. I can't wait as well. I get then so excited about flowers. Come and have your wedding here. Yeah! Oh my God, in the greenhouse. <laughs> <laughs> all the flowers. All the flowers. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> yes. So lovely. So, Thank you so much, Alice. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. You're welcome. Alice, I love my flowers. So can you tell the people where to find you on social media? Okay. Our Instagram page is A-L-S-F-L-O-R-A. -A. Yes. Ars Flora. Yeah. Um, and then you mentioned you have a, a physical flower shop. Oh, yes. We so are location? located at Bukolobi, yeah. the village mall. Yeah. You're most welcome to buy locally grown flowers. In right Uganda. from here. Yes. And this is just the beginning. <laughs> 
if you come, I hope you come to interview us again next we, year. Yes, This definitely. place will be totally different because we have not even made one year yes, in operation. We're going to do that. All right, thank you so much, Alice. Okay, thank you, so guys. Much. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Follow us on all our social media pages, Kangana Nation Instagram, Kangana Nation Facebook. And if you've not yet subscribed, this flower could be for you. <laughs> <laughs> but you're wasting time. So please do subscribe. I'm your host, Joanita. Till next time. Thank you.